And this is what it looks like now as people queue to get their chance to pass by the Queen's coffin and pay their final respects. The Queen will lie in state at Westminster Hall for four days from 5 o'clock this evening until 6.30 a.m. on Monday morning. Many began queuing overnight and have been braving a very rainy London evening, hoping to be among the first to get into Westminster Hall. There were plenty of tents along the river, even though camping isn't permitted. Lots of food and drink too to see people through the night. One chap even walked along offering pizza. The Archbishop sent some pizza over. Yeah, yeah, we had hot pizza <laughs> from the Archbishop. We are wet and we are maybe a bit cold, but we put up with it. It's worth it. It be worth it will be. She was really an icon of an icon. She was a le real legend of someone that combined motherhood with monarchy. She produced the next king, yet she was ruling. Her Majesty reigned for 70 years. I can give her 24 hours of my time to pay respects and say thank you um, for an incredible reign. Oh, I was just so adamant to come and pay my respects to such a great lady. And um, how do you feel about not having a bed for the evening? I'm okay, I've got my chair and got waterproofs and something warm, so. What about food? I've got food and drink, yeah. And there's people up and down with pizza and hot tea and yeah, it's amazing. Katie here this morning with me. Hello, Katie. Just uh, looking around, weren't we? Uh, the uh, dawn has broken for uh, the Queen for the very last time here at Buckingham Palace. A very different mood this morning. Yeah, it is. We've been here over the last few days, haven't we? And at times when the, the Queen's coffin was uh, up in Scotland, it, it didn't feel that as serious. It felt more like people were very excited for, to catch a glimpse of, of the new king. But I think yesterday evening, when the Queen's coffin was brought here, as it made the very slow journey from RAF North Holt, and people lined the streets uh, in the driving rain, the, the coffin being uh, lit up, and as it was driven into Buckingham Palace last night, that moment of silence uh, that sort of washed over the whole of the, the area over here for people outside before they sort of broke into a, a spontaneous round of applause. The seriousness of what's happened, I think, ha has become a bit more real for people here now. I think, I think that's right. I think people couldn't comprehend, couldn't take yeah. in what had happened. And seeing her coffin uh, arriving here, uh, at RAF Northolt brought down from Edinburgh by the RAF uh, in very safe hands there. And then it processing along the A40 with a specially designed hearse so that as many people as possible could see through the glass hearse to, to the coffin, lit up as well as you, as you quite rightly point out. Suddenly, for so many people, the realisation was, there we are, that, that the Queen was dead. Yeah, and it, it's a... It's a funny mix of emotions, isn't it? There's been a lot of psychologists commenting over the last few days. Why do we cry when we see this moment? For those people that haven't even met the Queen but have found it a very emotional experience, I think the, the consensus is this is a woman, because she reigned for 70 years for so long, that has accompanied all of us through major events in our, our lives. So I think for a lot of people, it's, it makes you think about your own life as well and how she's been there as this consistent presence throughout our, our lives. And to that end, um, the queues that we're seeing on the South Bank that will continue to snake around the capital for the next few days, um, a group of Samaritans um, will be wandering up and down that queue to offer comfort, support, solace as and when uh, it's necessary. Um, as far as that queue is concerned, it's going to stretch for something just short of five miles, and it's going to go from Westminster Hall right up to uh, Southwark Park. The front of the queue is at the Palace of Westminster, where there'll be airport-style security from there. It's going to wind its way back through Victoria Tower Gardens on the embankment and across Lambeth Bridge before going back on yourself again. And then on the opposite side of the River Thames, it will stretch along the South Bank. Some pretty impressive uh, monuments along the way, Katie, including the London Eye, the Tate Modern. 
London Bridge. We know the BFI and South Bank's going to be playing Archive of the Queen as well. So there, it really will be, you'll be taking in the whole of London and, and seeing sort of the places that the, the Queen went to throughout her life. I think I'm right in saying it'll go past City Hall as well and uh, the beauty, the magnificence of Tower Bridge um, and also the Tower of London uh, before it uh, reaches the maximum permitted length, which is at um, Southwark Park, which is in Bermondsey. And we've done uh, a calculation to suggest that's around about five miles. There's, pr there's plenty of loops in there as well, so perhaps um, a little longer than five miles. And many of our viewers this morning will be saying, surely people won't be queuing that long. But they will. Some suggestions, <laughs> 30 hours. 30 hours seems an implausible amount of time, but all plans are in place. These people have been queuing since 6 o'clock last night. And it's, it's impressive. A lot of them are older people as well. Yeah. We've seen overnight just the... At least it's dry now. At least it's dry. That's what I was going to say. The amount of rain that, that they've had to uh, put up with overnight. Uh, but people are, are in good spirits. They, they've just wanted to really be among the, the front few people to witness this historic moment. I would say by joining this queue now, though, you, you are making the decision that you're going to not see the, the, the procession that will be pretty impressive that we'll see this afternoon as the Queen leaves, the Queen's coffin leaves Buckingham Palace and it is by gun carriage moved to Westminster Hall itself. I think that will be, we saw rehearsals yesterday in the very early hours of the morning. Um, for the sort of things that you're going to see, and we saw the, the military uniforms, the bands, it, it's going to be quite a moment. Uh, it is, although, you know, if you are in the queue and you've charged up your phone, you can get Sky News um, on your phone live, and so you will be able to watch events as they start to unroll from um, about 2.22 p.m. Not about, um, definitely, exactly. <laughs> AR, and then it's a 38-minute journey. And perfectly paced as well. That was the point of having these, the one rehearsal that they managed to get yesterday. Of course, these things are meticulously planned. Everything has to has to run to time. Uh, and so for 38 minutes, what they've done, what they were doing was working out the exact pacing that you, they want for uh, in order to make it to Westminster Hall exactly on time. Uh, we know that the the procession itself will be um, behind the the gun carriage in which the the Queen's coffin. Uh, is being transported behind there the royal family will follow on we knew that the the king and his siblings would be following in military uniform what we had confirmation of overnight uh, was the fact that princes william and and harry will too be joining uh, the royal family for for that moment